Hi, everybody. It is great to see you again this week doing church online. I am so excited to get started. So far this month, we have learned about three amazing things that Jesus did. First, we learned that Jesus amazed people, even when he was a boy, with his teaching and his knowledge of God the Father. And next, we learned that Jesus amazed people with his healing. And then last week, we learned about how Jesus amazed people with his power. And so this week, I wonder what amazing thing that Jesus is going to do. I cannot wait to find out. Do you have any guesses? I'll give you a minute. Do you have any guesses? Okay, well you are gonna have to wait because we're gonna do a few things first before we get to our amazing story about Jesus. So if you have been joining us every week this month, you probably know our bottom line by now. And if that is you, I want you to say it really loudly after I count to three because that way all of our friends who are joining us for the first time or who don't know the bottom line yet, they can hear you. So do you think you can do that? I thought so. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus is amazing. That was awesome, but I bet you could be even louder. Do you think you could be? All right, and everybody, let's say it together. One, two, three. Jesus is amazing. Yes, he is. Jesus really is amazing. Who's amazing? Jesus is amazing. You guys know that so well. I bet you also know our memory verse really well. So let's review that together, okay? Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. So good. That is so good. Let's do it again. Everyone who heard him was amazed. And that's in Luke 2, 47. Oh, I love hearing about how everybody was amazed by Jesus. Okay, are you guys ready for what is probably my favorite part of the morning? And that's where we get to stand up and worship Jesus because Jesus really is amazing. And we wanna turn our hearts toward him and our lungs and our mouths and our hands and dance and praise and sing. Let's go. There is only one who can do anything amazing. There is only one who can do anything so amazing. His name is Jesus. He is the strongest. His name is Jesus. And he is oh so
with you. I love praising Jesus. All right, so now we are going to get to the part where we get to hear our true story from the Bible. And I'm going to give you a little clue about what we we're going to hear. Have you ever caught one of these? It's a fish. You know, I like to go fishing, and what can happen is you go fishing all day long, all day, and you do everything right, and you sit there, and you sit there, and you sit there, and maybe you even have one of these, like a big net. And like, how could you miss? You throw it out there and you think the fish would swim in there, but nothing. You do everything right and no fish. What a bummer. That's happened to me and I hate when that happens. But do you know what? If that were my job and my life depended on it, I'd really be bummed out. And that's exactly what happened to the disciples in our true story today. So, I think we better listen and watch and see what amazing thing Jesus might do. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse Where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse We miss you Hi everyone, I'm Kai your friendly neighborhood astronaut. My friends and I decorated the clubhouse to look like outer space. Isn't it amazing? We're playing out of this world. It's so cool. My mom got me this cool astronaut costume. It looks just like the ones astronauts wear when they go up into outer space. Raise your hand if you think being an astronaut would be a cool job. Me too. 
I'd love to blast off in a rocket ship and see all the stars and visit the moon and maybe even see other planets. That would be so cool. Plus, with my special radio, I could talk to people down on Earth. I would love being an astronaut. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Visiting outer space, are you? Hi, Ollie. I am. Astronauts get to do the best things. Astronauts are fantastic. It's true. But I know someone even more amazing. Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cupcake Food Truck. I'm Aisha. So good to see you today. Check out these amazing cupcakes. Ta-da! <laughs> They're my golden goldfish cupcakes. Because I have the most amazing story about the most amazing out of this world person. Can you guess who it is? Jesus! <laughs> That's right, it's Jesus. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with these fishermen. They have been fishing all night and now they are cleaning their nets. I wonder how many fish they caught. Let's look in their boats. Do you see any fish? No. These guys had tried all night to catch fish, but came back without any fish. So sad. Just then, Jesus came to the shore and a crowd of people followed him. They wanted to hear Jesus' amazing teachings about how God loves them. But there were so many people and they kept getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Jesus had no room to stand on the sand. So he asked Peter, the fisherman, if he could use his boat. Tell me, if Jesus asked you if he could come on your boat, would you say yes or no? Yes, me too. <laughs> so Jesus got in the boat and he taught the people about God. When he was finished teaching, he said to Peter, let's go fishing. Peter told Jesus that he had tried all night to catch fish and didn't catch a single one. But since Jesus asked, Peter agreed to try one more time. They let down their nets and waited. Tell me if you see any fish. <gasps> there's a fish. Wow. <gasps> there's another one. What's that? Even more fish. So many fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, there's so many fish, the nets are breaking. They even had to get another boat. Soon, they had two full boats of fish. Everyone was amazed. No one but the out of this world amazing Jesus could do that. Jesus is amazing and can do anything because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus helped his friends catch lots of fish. Jesus is amazing. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus helped his friends catch enough fish to fill two whole boats. Jesus is so amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm going to fly my rocket back up into outer space and think of all the amazing things that Jesus did. Ready for liftoff, see ya! I knew it! 
I knew that's what it was going to be. Jesus did a miracle. Is that what you guessed at the beginning when I said, hey, what's Jesus going to do this week? A miracle. It was a miracle that the disciples had empty nets, but Jesus said, throw the nets in again. And he made them full. He made them so full of fish that the nets broke. That is a miracle. That is amazing. Jesus is amazing. And you know what? Jesus is still amazing. And so the miracles that he did for the disciples, he can still do for us today too. Jesus is so amazing. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us and for wanting to be our friend. Jesus, we love you and we are so thankful um, that you are still amazing and that you do things every single day for us amazing, miraculous things. And most of all, Jesus, that you love us and we love you too. In your name, amen. Boys and girls and moms and dads, if you're there, thanks for joining us this week. We encourage you to get online and download and print out the activity pages um, so that you can work on that as well. And also, don't be afraid to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and we will definitely see you here again next week. Bye-bye.